I had a sex question, didn't know who to ask, till I went to Sex in South Beach and got hooked up real fast. I'm married with kids and up until now have been pretty happy in my marriage. However, in the last several months, my boyfriend from college found me on Facebook and has basically said that he thinks I'm his soulmate. <clears throat> he broke my heart in college and I used to think about him all the time as the guy who got away. He's having problems with his wife now and he's been sending me really sweet messages that make me feel like I did when we were in college. I love my husband, but we're mostly focused on taking care of our kids and rarely do we connect on a passionate romantic level like I did with this guy. I'm now questioning whether my ex really is my soulmate. I've always loved him, but thought that he was just too good for me, out of my league. Now I'm wondering, is this my second chance? I'm thinking about seeing him just to see how I feel inside when we do. But if my husband found out, he would be furious. What should I do? I see you shaking your head, girlfriend. Mm -mm. I am not okay with that. I am, you agree, I, I the first thing I wrote in my hands was that is playing with fire! Playing with fire. Yeah. That is just, that is a sure road down to heartache. She's yes. going to destroy, if she does pursue this, right. she's not only going, taking the chance of destroying her own family, but right. possibly his too. Absolutely. Whatever trouble this guy is having with his wife, he's using her as a distraction. Absolutely, rather than dealing with his issues, exactly. And she is just living in the past. Absolutely, and that's what I said, one, playing with fire, and two, you are only remembering the good times. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting about how this guy was a jerk mm -hmm. and broke your heart and how it did not work out. She, the part where she said that she didn't feel like she was worthy or like she was good enough, that right there put me on notice, like, eh. And, yes, exactly. I also think that she's, like, living in fantasy land. And the reality is he is not that college guy anymore. He's a married man, and he's selfishly trying to ruin a married woman's family. Yes. Um, and I'm like, what if you were his wife, and you guys were having your own problems? Would you be okay with him reaching out to an ex-girlfriend for comfort? Or better yet, what if someone was coming after her husband? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because um, I think it's hard to put yourself in someone else's shoes until... You know, like, I would be furious if someone were coming after my man. Furious. Absolutely. And that she, I think she should defriend him. Defriend him. I very rarely right go for the defriend key, but I think that she should defriend him. Because right the whole now. concept of soulmates is you can't really miss someone. So if you're meant to be together when you guys are 80 in an old person's home and your husband has Alzheimer's and he doesn't know if you're cheating, maybe that's a time that you guys can reconnect because I think that soulmates really don't miss each other. They the, that the universe does bring them together if her concept so is you're that they're really about meant to be. Well, I'm saying if she's really meant to be with this guy, right. that it's going to happen at some point in not a destructive way that's going to hurt a whole bunch of other people. Right now, it's just based in this fantasy. Okay, I'm almost 30, and all my girlfriends have already gotten married to their soulmates. I'm wondering if somehow I missed my soulmate, or maybe marriage just isn't for me. I'm dating a really nice guy who looks great on paper, but I just don't feel that special chemistry I always imagined I would feel for my soulmate. I always thought it would be like love at first sight. Like us, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid if I wait too long, I'll be too old to have kids by the time I meet Mr. Wright. Should I just settle down with a nice guy I'm dating or keep looking for the love of my life? That's mm. a difficult one. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm like, girl, you're only 30. I mean... You're approaching 30. So yeah, but still at 30, you know, I mean, I tore my biological clock out. Right. But still, at th this, is, this is when, you know, this is when most women right. are like, oh, God, I need to start having a baby right, right absolutely, now. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, I can understand her feeling that, that... That pressure? Yes, that pressure, like that urgency, right? But um, on the other hand, like... I mean, what's wrong with a nice guy? He's <laughs> a nice guy. Don't don't look past you know, a nice like, guy. Well, right. First of all, I, the Syracuse University researchers found that it takes only one fifth of a second to fall in love, and then they said, "But when have you ever made a good decision that quickly?" Right. Right. <laughs> so, and on the other hand, a study in the Journal of Political Economy found that for every year that you put off marriage, you face a lower risk of eventually getting divorced. 
So Ooh. that was one of the things I liked about yeah. getting married later. I got married when I was 37 years old. I know, I know. I look 22, but actually, you know. <laughs> so I got married when I was 37. And let me tell you, girl, I just blinked. And I was pregnant, I swear. And so, <laughs> well, I did a little more than blink. Um, <laughs> Keep your fertility over there, lady. <laughs> <laughs> but remember that those infertility statistics are from people who went to clinics for help. So all the rest of us who blinked and got pregnant, and I knew two girls who were actually older than me, they were in their early 40s, and the same thing happened to them. I'm not saying that you should wait until then. I actually was never sure if I really wanted to have children, but the point of this is that I got pregnant very easily later in life after I found a man who I do believe I will be married to for the rest of my life. Well, I was just I gonna say wait. she needs to look at this guy that she's with now and see if she could see him in her future. Absolutely. If she can't see him in her future, then she knows she needs to keep looking. Right. Unless he has really good genes that you want to pass on and a trust You mean like Levi's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a great show tonight. Sexual so soulmates. Fun, yes. yes. When you so have that way of romantic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on all the social media outlets. Dr. Sanjaya, S-O-N-J-I-A, sexandsouthbeach.com, Shameless Ladies. Sh Shameless Ladies on Twitter, shamelessburlesque.com, and Shameless Burlesque on Facebook. Ah, awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you next time on Sex and South Beach. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I said a one, a two, a three, and a four. It's the guard dog at the G Spot store. I work here because they got that sense. Makes my loving so intense. I rubs it on my girl when she needs affection And it really gives me a big dog erection Get yours at drsanjaya.com And today's homework is Go to sexinsouthbeach.com Join the VIP list And for your daily dose of nookie knowledge Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And you don't want to miss the Sex in South Beach podcast on iTunes and podcast.